Hi everyone! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Dawood, this is my wife Jasmine, and we make all sorts of videos together. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We'd love that so much. And make sure you select that bell notification button down below as well so that you're first to be notified when we upload a video. All right, guys, so today's video is more on the casual side. We wanted to basically answer a question that we get very, very often, and that is how we met and how we went about our relationship up until we got married. Um, I know that we've discussed our marriage and not having a wedding and all that kind of fun stuff, but we haven't really discussed in detail what our relationship was like up until we got married islamically yeah. so the whole dating thing how did that happen how did we tell our parents all those kind of stuff how we met anything that has to do with that topic we're gonna discuss in today's video so we always get asked um how we met and how we went about getting to know each other yeah. up until our islamic marriage and this involves dating yeah and a lot of you do know how we met but this is gonna be the official story yeah I guess you that's guys can it. always refer no to this no one video. can <laughs> ask us anymore we're gonna explain it here and that's it done and over with anyone that asks and you guys see it in a comment on one of our posts or something like that send them this link <laughs> <laughs> so within this video you'll probably see two perspectives of how these events happened um, obviously from my perspective, it's going to be different than his, even though it's the same story. You'll just kind of see how each one of us felt in that moment. And I think that's the interesting part about this video. So we're going to go ahead and start with how we met. Do you want me to start? Yeah, you start. Okay, so basically, I've known his sister for a while. I just wasn't very close to her because I lived an hour away and we had different social circles, blah, blah, blah. But we decided to do a girl's trip to his restaurant and we kind of just hung out for the day and then we decided to go eat at his restaurant i actually went with my sister and two or yeah i think it was two friends in the car um and i drove to hamilton and we went to his restaurant and i walked in um and i remember seeing him but i didn't know obviously it was him i remember seeing him near the cash area i knew summer had a brother but i just never met him i never really knew anything about him um, she didn't know how cute I was until that day. <laughs> and uh, I didn't really look at him when I first walked into the restaurant. I just kind of like saw like like in my peripheral vision like that way. And I saw that there was someone standing there and I kind of my brain was kind of putting the puzzle piece together. It's like that's probably Summer's brother because I because I've heard that he works at the restaurant. But I didn't really think much of it. I just walk, like I, that's me. I'm like a when it comes to like people around me i don't really pay attention so that's like me I'm, we have tunnel vision actually no I, I don't have tunnel vision like you no 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 <laughs> i okay i choose not to pay attention someone would, someone would be waving at me from like the corner of my eye but like i just go yeah straight. you're next or someone level. would be like looking you're at me and then i just wouldn't notice no no you're next level aloof like no i'm not like that i'm very aware of my surroundings but I, for some reason at that moment I wasn't looking all I was paying attention to was like where's the girls let me find the table so I went straight to the table and I sat down and then like within a few minutes he walks up to the table you were checking me out then excuse me this is my side of the story <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he walks up to the table and he was like hi guys what's up how's it going oh you guys are all from Scarborough I was like bro I don't sound like that what are you saying <laughs> Yeah, you did sound like that. You were just trying to be so nice. And he's such a friendly person, even with strangers, that I've realized that. Anyways, um, when I first looked at him, I was like, oh, oh, he's kind of cute. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like oh, my... really? Oh, really? Oh, really, really? <laughs> yeah, when I first looked at him, I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. And then, but I, but I was <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but, but. I was like, he's definitely an F boy. <laughs> I was like, he's definitely an F boy that's only into white girls, that probably parties, probably drinks, probably has his fun, not looking for no hijabi girl. Yo, you can't judge a book by its cover. Yes, you can. No, you can't. You really can't, because that's not me. Yeah, I gave you a chance, didn't I? Yes. But, but you judged me right. But right off the bat, you that's what you looked like to me. Man, did I give off that vibe? Yeah. Wow. Because of the way you looked. Oh. See, don't judge a book by its cover. Listen, listen, listen. Most guys in the Muslim community that know they're good looking 
end up being F boys. Like, that's just how it is. I'm not saying all guys, but most guys that I've met that know they're good looking, they end up being F boys because they just take advantage of that fact and they do whatever the heck they want. Right? So that's what I was used to seeing. So when I saw him and he he was good looking and he seemed confident, he was well aware that he was good looking because he was like everywhere he went. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what is so, that? <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> so I was like, this guy, this guy is definitely not looking for a girl like me. Now, was I looking for someone at that point in time? Probably not, but I was open to it. I was nearing the end of my un university career and I was like, okay, maybe now's the time to kind of let someone in, but I wasn't actively looking. I was never actively looking. It just kind of happened. So yeah, so... I was like, this guy would never go for a girl like me. I'm a hijabi, whatever, whatever, whatever. But so you had that thought. Yeah, I, mean, I had that when, thought. So initially. when you were sitting down at the restaurant, you were like, oh, this guy could be. Yeah, so potential. I kind of canceled you out of my head within like maybe 30 minutes. But like you had that thought, like you had that thought of me, like oh, this guy could be the one. In, like, I a always second. like, I've always like look whenever I see someone that like potentially could be a potential. You know, I always, <laughs> I always. I always envision I'm like can I picture myself with this person and if not I cancel if so yes you canceled me right away if yes then I pursue Damn. <laughs> I've never I've never pursued anyone before so I've canceled pretty much everyone in my life yeah I pretty much canceled you 30 minutes in just because I assumed that you were an F boy so I had 30 second I had a 30 minute chance yeah you had a 30 minute chance and within those 30 minutes let me tell you how he acted around me okay didn't look at me once okay didn't look at me once um, barely spoke to me other than taking my order okay didn't even ask if I wanted a side or nothing didn't pay attention to me <laughs> Bro, I was so nice to you. What do you mean? You're just no, the you were nice one. to everyone. You but were nice you? to everyone. Like okay, no, guys. no, but you were nice to, in general. Like you were conversating with everyone. He didn't really pay attention to me much, which was fine. Like I didn't really care. But that only like in my head that only solidified the idea. Like yeah, he's not. Into well, how am I supposed to be like? I'm supposed to be like, hey, but, but, how you doing? But you cute hijabi. But, how you doing? I like. I, your, I, I like... low key saw. I low key saw how you would like reach over me to grab a plate when he. Could could fully like go around so i was like did i smell good then <laughs> i didn't even smell you You probably smell like shawarma <laughs> <laughs> so like he like i was sitting and then all i all i see is like an arm come from here and i'm like so we're going that fast huh <laughs> <laughs> so you gave me another chance no so <laughs> Once I saw you, like, kind of, like, reach over. I was like, does he do this to everyone? Like, is this part Bro, of his, is this part of his F boy character where he, like, reaches over a plate over your shoulder and tries to, like, have you sniff his armpit? Like, <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> so I was kind of weirded out that you were doing that so close to me. So what Shame happened? Shame on you, brother. I'm sorry, sister. <laughs> we didn't end up talking or anything. I, I We finished eating. The food was great. We went to go and pay. And then that's when I realized there was something weird going on. Because when we went up to pay, everyone paid normally. And he cashed everyone out normally. And then it was my turn. And I was telling him my order um, in case he's forgotten. And he kept typing it in wrong. Mm -hmm. Like he kept typing it in and messing up. And then erasing and starting all over again. And even his sister caught along. And she's like, dude, what's wrong with you? right now you know like he does this all day and he happens to mess up my order like three times so at that point i was like this guy's getting nervous like well, i wonder why he's getting nervous he wasn't nervous with any of the other girls that cashed out before me so i guess i got a, a little One bit of, of a hint left me a tip. i left you a tip you left me a two dollar tip yeah you put your arm around me what you want more than that bro dude i'm worth two dollars <laughs> no it's not well i got a sandwich when i tip you like more than my sandwich you cost 15 percent yeah, that was fifteen percent. No, you paid your sister. Like you paid for your, you paid for your pick sister to your bill is about. Like, I'm not tipping on behalf of my sister. So you paid, bruh, two dollars, <laughs> guys. Now she knows how okay, to. Okay, hold so. up, hold up. Yeah. You should have given me the meal for free. I know, I should have. Okay. But like, you thought I was that's cute. That's too obvious. You thought I was cute. You should have. What am like, I gonna be in front of all your friends? Hey, you get your meal for it's on the house. <laughs> well, what does that mean? You gotta play no, hard to been, get that a little. Been weird. That you gotta been weird. play hard to get just a little bit. 
Anyways, I get all the free food I want now. Yeah. <laughs> we hop into the car and all the girls that came with me in the car were all like, oh my god, he's so cute. Like, I can't. Like, oh my god, did you see him? And I was just driving like, you know, like, yeah. You didn't think it was cute? You didn't tell them, oh my god, he's so cute. I'm too. not the type that gushes over guys. Like, I'm not that type. Come on, look at me. No, even you. I would never gush over a guy. Like, I'm not that type that goes, oh my god, he's so hot, I can't, like, I can't handle, no, that's not me, especially with people, like, no, maybe in my head, but not, not around yeah. people, I've just never been that type, so I never really reacted to their conversation, I was just kind of listening, nodding my head, you know, like, having, letting them do their thing, and then, I think it was two days later or a day later, was it two days later? I gave it, uh, like, uh, two days. Yeah, I think it was, like, two days later. I got a DM request. <laughs> now, remember, guys, I had 60,000 followers back then. Even now, till this day, I always look through my DMs, and I try to answer as much as possible. And I always get notifications of DMs on my phone. So when I got his notification, um, Dawood, I think your username was what? Dawood H? Yeah, it was. Dawood H wants to send you a message like that's the notification i got and i actually was believe it or not in a tim hortons drive through <laughs> when this happened and i remember seeing it on my phone i'm like who is the wood h like i've never met anyone with the name the wood before and i had totally forgotten that his name was the wood so i was like at first like who is that who is that and i was like wait i've heard that name before is it summer's brother and i was so weirded out because that's like I expected it, but I didn't expect it. Like, low-key, I expected that to happen because something about what? it was really? weird. Yeah, I low-key expected something. Like, either your sister messaging me or something like that, maybe. Like, I had, like, maybe a 2% inkling that it might happen. I didn't know that. But also, I was like, nah, there's no way he would straight up message me out of all the girls in that group. There's no way. Because there was, like, maybe, like, 12 girls. If anything, I was like, he's probably into some of the other girls, like not me. Happy. Um, so, yeah, so I quickly opened that message and then I'll, and I saw, and what did it say? I think I, if I find like a screenshot, I'll insert it here. <laughs> but I think it said like, hey, I'm Summer's brother, what's up? Something like that. And I was like, <laughs> smooth. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> And then so I kind of played it cool. I was like, hey, yeah, what's up? Not much, blah, blah, blah. And we just kind of continued the conversation from there. Um, and I remember I told my sister and she's like, I knew it. Wow. I knew it. I knew he's going to message you. Listen, blah, blah. And I was like, how did she even know? Like, am I the only one that was blind to this? Like, but you I said you had a two, two, two minute feeling. Yeah, I had a feeling, but it was like a 2% feeling. Like, 2%, like, 2%. like two, like one in a million type of feeling kind of thing. Like I was like, it could happen, but like, See, no. Like like I about. said, I still had the image of you being like the type of guy yeah. that was into white girls and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but that's the, that's where me and you are different. Like if I if I thought there was no chance with anybody, like nothing, I just completely move on. And yeah, on. I did move on. Do you think I? What was I doing? Crying bruh, at you home? Were, you were waiting for me, bro. No, I was waiting for you. <laughs> you wish. Is it my turn now? It's my turn. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, you. Okay. How did how did it happen for you? So, my sister texts me saying I'm coming into the restaurant for a reservation of twelve people. I'm like, what? really i want to leave i want to go home this is not this is the end of my shift and she's like no no please stay uh i want why, you to, why did she want you to stay huh to serve them because like she doesn't want she doesn't, she doesn't want to deal with the other workers oh. so I, she wants me to deal with them to deal with you guys so i'm like okay maybe my sister is plotting something i don't know but hmm, maybe it was <laughs> summer, summer's idea all along <laughs> it could be we'll never know she pretty much told me to stay and I'm like, oh, are you serious? She's like, yeah, please. I'm like, okay, no problem. So I stayed. I stayed an extra hour. So they all came in, and then Jasmine came in. She walked in. I'm like, damn. You did not look at me. Yeah, I did look at you. You're obviously, like, not staring at me. She came in. I didn't even say hi to you. Yeah, you didn't. And no one said hi to me. I just walked straight to the table. Yeah, you walked straight to the table. I told you, like, I saw him in the peripheral vision. Yeah. But I didn't see you looking and at like, me. And, like, for some reason, Jasmine, like has a face like sometimes where you might it she might be a little bit intimidating but she's really not yeah, I, have a, I have a resting b-i-t-c-h face fish. maybe so and she's not like that don't, don't as i said don't judge a book by its cover so she walks by i'm like gonna do that sound again damn 
in my head, obviously. And then uh, she was wearing striped pants, so right away she stood out to me. I'm like, oh, look at this girl, stylish. She thinks she's stylish. <laughs> but guys, I literally picked those pants like last minute with like a black top. Yeah. So, anyways, she they came in. I'm like, right away, I'm like, oh, this girl's very pretty. Like, she's really? she's she's my type 100. percent As soon as I saw you. Like type in terms of the looks. In terms of looks, the yeah, way you're so superficial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she sat under the table. A bunch of her friends were there. A bunch of my sister was there. I was like talking to my sister. Then like a few girls were talking to us, taking their order. Some of them were from Hamilton. Some of them weren't. So obviously I opened. Oh, you guys are where are you guys from? Oh, you guys are all from Scarborough. Where the hell is Scarborough? I didn't know where Scarborough was. I knew it was like Toronto. Like the most I knew was Toronto. Really, it's, you didn't know where I was from? No, I don't really know. Like I don't like really go. I know Toronto is Toronto. Oh my Ooh. god, that's a killer beat. What? I didn't really give like Jasmine, me and Jasmine did not make eye contact, but I did feel a vibe from Jasmine where like I felt energy from Jasmine thinking like she was into me. Huh? Yeah, I what? felt I felt that energy from you. Bro, I was thinking but what sh what what shawarma I was going to order. I no, no, I got that vibe from me. I got really? the energy. Like you weren't looking at me. So whenever I see someone not like staring at me What if I was just a shy person? No, exactly. So like whenever I see someone not staring at me and I feel a vibe from them Some of us, like or me, I took it as like she is like Attracted to me. Okay, listen up girls. You stare everyone in the eyes next time so that they don't get no, some, <laughs> any funny ideas Some people like are ca casual. They stare at people. They look, they talk, whatever. And some people take that the wrong way And what I'm, so what I'm saying right win? now so what I'm saying is you you could take it the wrong way, but I knew that point I did not take it the wrong way. I, I, I felt a vibe from her because she would not make eye contact with me. And I was looking at her until this day she still says I did not make I did not give any hints at all. Yeah. But I was looking at her. I was looking at her, but I I didn't make it obvious. I'm not gonna like sit there and like stare like I'm gonna look at the camera. I'm gonna not gonna sit there and stare at you like this. How creepy is that? I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, I really didn't want to stare at her, but I would definitely was checking her out. Not checking her out like bottom to toe. I was checking her out as in like bottom her, to toe. But <laughs> I wasn't checking her out top to bottom. I was just checking her out on what I was trying to read her body language when she was at the restaurant, and I did get a little bit of a vibe. That's why after they left the restaurant, or actually before before she left the restaurant, uh, she came to pay, which she just explained. And at that moment, I felt so like shy not shy i wasn't like i was nervous so in a way i want to say something but i couldn't say something because i don't really know you and i wasn't 100 percent sure and i didn't want to come off as flirty and or make it obvious i want or, to yeah what if i was seeing someone yeah see like that's the thing i'm not gonna like come off that way i don't know too much about her, jasmine at that time mm. so i don't know what to do so i start i was thinking in my head uh, but i have a hard time multitasking doing two things at once so i was trying to think of something to say to her but at the same time i was ringing up her bill oh. right so that's why i was like getting confused I'm like oh wait uh oh shit, i did a mistake oh this that and then that my sister's my sister summer comes into play and she's like what are you doing why are you like that honda wood and I'm like, she called him out yeah. and, like actually in front of me and yeah. i was like this is awkward yeah and i'm like okay uh this is weird so after so, that, okay what happened after you cash me out and, we, and i left the store right, so what happened when i cash you out I, my, my cousin Fatima was working I told him like yo what do you think of this girl she's cute huh and she's like yeah I'm like damn like how, how do I go about this and I'm like wait Summer knows them so I'm gonna ask my sister Summer who that girl was with the striped pants Oh, damn striped pants. Yeah, and then I told Summer, and then she told me who she was. She's like, "Why?" I'm like, oh, "Don't worry. Like, what do you think? Why?" And she obviously got the hint. And then I found her on Instagram. I typed her name, Jasmine Pierce. I'm like, "Oh, yeah, she's has a following on Instagram. She's not gonna message me back. What the heck? Like, my message probably won't even go through." But I did it anyways. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take my chances and I'm gonna do this. And then she messaged me back saying, "Hi, Dawood." I'm like. This was like literally 20 minutes later. I'm like, damn, she answered. I was so happy at that <laughs> moment. And the best thing about it was we had a conversation. I broke the ice in a way. I Like, I hate when you have a conversation with someone randomly like, hi, how's it going? Good, Good you? you? Like, not, sometimes people just play GD and then the letter U. Yeah. And it's like, okay, I'm good, thanks. What he's with, then he's trying to make a conversation. Over. Conversation's over. Like, that's the worst time. Like, any girl out there that wants, that any girl out there that gets approached by a guy, try your best to make a conversation out of unless it. Unless you're not guy, interested. Unless you're not interested. Like that, unless yeah. you're not interested. But if you think, if you expect an, a proper answer back from someone, or you're going to think, like, why is he not messaging me anymore? Put in some effort. Put in some effort. You'll see. Both ways. Yes. Yeah. And you'll see why. So this 
Jasmine Ferris girl says there was an inside joke at the restaurant that happens like why is there milk on the menu who drinks yeah, yeah, milk with shawarma one of the girls that we were with she yeah. was like she's like hey do you have laban like yogurt drink and he's like no but i have milk and then the girl's like why do you have milk you're a middle eastern restaurant you don't have laban you have milk yeah and then and then he's like yeah but we serve a lot of white people and they like milk with their drinks yeah so, exactly and, so so i kind of like in the message i remembered that and then he was like i was like what what's up and he's like oh i'm at work i'm like oh so you're ser serving people milk eh and then he's like and, he, and then that's I that's guess that what broke, broke the ice, ice right away yeah. I, as soon as i saw that i'm like wow this is amazing like not much people know how to like break the ice that way especially coming from a girl a guy can put so much effort in but the girl has to put in the same amount of effort but, but that's she just... my personality though i always throw in little jokes yeah. like i'm i like doing so those. right away i knew when she did that i'm like this is this is the one let's keep going and see where it goes you knew this is the one off of the milk joke no not off the milk joke but i knew i could like you uh, could you can conversate with i me. knew i could conversate with you so like right right away i'm like okay this girl's not like any other girl this she's she's a rare breed so then i started <laughs> So then I started messaging her. We started talking back and forth and then from there we just got along and I asked her like Hey, let's hang out sometimes and at the time you were okay, doing wait, exams. You're, you're fast tracking way too fast Okay, okay, okay? okay. Now, you, you, you can come back in after we kind of had that like initial interaction or where he was telling me what's up And I was telling him what's up that kind of stuff. We started talking more often and um, it happened very naturally. It was daily, like it, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty much daily, like the whole day. We'd kind of check up on each other and it just, it was like an ongoing conversation that never really ended. It was like, good night, good morning. Actually, blah, you know blah, blah, blah. what? I, you know what? The tactic I tried doing with like Jasmine is I would never message good night. I would just pretend I fell asleep so I could continue the conversation the next day so there's no awkwardness. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a tactic that's you guys smart. can use. Yeah, that's so like smart. you don't have to message the next day, but like, so Hi, how's it going? You person. pass out on the person, like, and you just say, "Oh, hey, sorry, I passed out last night. What's going on? How are you?" So it's so easy to break mm. the ice At, in the beginning, but after that, you just go you to normal. Sneaky man.